Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Dicey Guy Live, where your comments matters. <laughs> Ooh, scary. All right, so hopefully sound, everything is okay. We have Rivendell Tactica in the house. Welcome, good sir. We have Dave Dodge in the house. Welcome, good sir. Um, and we have the Spa Fantastica Mickey Jenner! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, oh shit, hello, and now the delay is coming in and I have to put stuff on mute. Hey! I have myself a little buffer in the front end of live show so I can put up links, put up everything, <laughs> and put stuff on mute. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't <laughs> do too well with that. But, anyways, here we are. Hello, welcome to the show. Um, let's see, Dave Dodge in Norway. So you make your uh, paint uh, bristles by plucking the hairs of wild minks. <laughs> I, I don't think we have any wild minks here. Everybody that's wild hair in Norway is imported from Russia and places like that. So there are no natural minks and they are a bounty on them. So you can go out, set up traps and you know, if you find one, ping, take their asshole hairs out and put them on the brush. I don't, I, no, 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 that's just cool. But anyways, how are people? <laughs> Welcome to the show with everything's ghost. This is a 3D printed uh, Zelda, uh, which um, a friend of mine had printed. And he doesn't have an airbrush yet, so he was asking me, uh, or he was just saying, ah, it would be really nice to have an airbrush to get a, 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 a nice coating on the princess. And I was like, yeah, sure, I can paint it. And he was like, oh, really? And I was like, really? And then here we are. So today, I think I just put on some paint on the, what do you call it, jewelry uh, around here and there and the face and stuff like that. And yeah, we're going to work a little on that. I have been working on for some days now, uh, a Orc Warband team for um, Weingard. My other Weingard dwarf team is coming along. I haven't touched them since uh, last uh, uh, session uh, we had together. So, but yeah, my, my goal there is to paint them on live show, but not today. Today we are doing uh, presents Princess uh, Zelda, present print. But first, Whew. okay. So this is two, two, um, two whole months worth of uh, paint laying here, and it's starting to smell now. So we are just going to change that up. If you don't know what this is, this is a wet pellet. It is a homemade version. And what I use for it, uh, here we're going to teach you something. I use kitchen uh, towel, the 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 sort that uh, you know absorbs uh, uh, water in a good way. And and, and uh, yeah, I use that as a swamp, uh, uh, not swamp, but uh, uh, what you call it? Oh shit, my mine. I can't remember what this is called in English. It's called swamp. Swamp? I don't know. Shit, sponge, sponge. Instead of sponge, I use this. Uh, it holds uh, wet, good. And then I put on uh, clean water. This is fresh uh, tap water. And I just pour it on like so. And let that absorb really good into the kitchen. Um, towel here. <clears throat> ba -ba 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 and it's good and wet. You want to, you know, it's like foreplay. You want it good and wet before you go to town. All right. <laughs> and then we are putting on what's called Mellum Legs Papier. It's, um, it's a, 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 gl a glossy paper that's not wax that um, gets uh, damp, but uh, doesn't, uh, um, you know, it's not soaking the water and on top of here you lay your paints and the paints will hold for a good while. It's for one painting session it's the original plan for this but I can use the same paints for days and weeks. And um, 
I see somebody has problem with uh, it getting moldy and stuff like that. And you know, it's probably uh, uh, due to how your tap water is and what's in your water. And you know, uh, probably if you are in UK, you will have 100 year old uh, plumbing. So it's probably your, your pipes are probably fucked. So that's why it's getting moldy. But here in Norway, everything is crisp and clear because uh, you know, <laughs> It's the, the one thing that ha we have going for me. Uh, anyways, here we go. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. Let's see. Uh, Dave Dodge is trying to help me. What it's called? <laughs> That's really good. Hey, QGO painting is in the house. Welcome, good sir. Bum. So <laughs> uh, he will probably attest that um, those tissues are. Uh, uh, perforons in and them and water sinks. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> what did you What did you say? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. You know, English is a hard word. Maybe I should just uh, switch over to Norway. Uh, so we prate vidre bare på norsk, så att alla som är kan säga i vart fall kan som kan säga själv liksom så alla kan ha det väldigt bra här och sitta här och prata på norsk. Det blir väldigt fint. So, Princess Leia here, we got Molly to who, and be very. Just joking with you, but uh, <laughs> it would be really easy for me to just talk in Norwegian. Uh, uh, then I just uh, have to have every third word uh, mumbled up in my brain instead of every word. But, anyways, are those for your roll ups? Uh, they are the ticket glossy. That uh, that's the ticket glossy paper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, so that was a crash course in how to make it wet, baby, before you dip the brush in into the paint. <laughs> what? I don't know. But okay, so here we go. We are going to paint and rumble for about one hour. This is a one hour so show and I'm going to try to postpone painting for as much as I can, so I don't have to paint that much. No, I'm just kidding with you. I am going under, under, I'm going under. Eh, eh, eh. Because I have some of my paints in this box. Ba -ba -bam. And uh, some of these paints I really like. Uh, I also use, but because I think um, it's uh, the colors of Vallejo. Ba -ba -bam is uh, very good uh, it's um it's a one to go uh, i have scale 75 paints really like them too but they are one two three four five six seven eight eight ten and eleven twenty you have to have a lot of uh paints on it before it uh, really shines but then it's the king so it's depending on your mood so if you want to have a quickie you go for uh, vallejos if you want to have a long, good session with, yeah, good times, you go scale 75 or the, the equivalent, like war colors or something like that. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> I'm mostly talking gibberish. And speaking of gibberish, um, my girlfriend was picking up um, some medicine for our, our cat on, um, uh, what you call it, uh, where you get re recipes for your medicine. Uh, uh, and she comes to the counter and the man behind the counter was Arabic. Uh, so he was uh, looking at the recipe and he was, ha ha ha, this is pretty funny. I have a friend of mine uh, that's called Milo too. You know what Milo means in, um, in Arabic? Uh, no, my girlfriend said. It means uh, retard. <laughs> and then he uh, go along and tell her about his good friend in Oslo that uh, they all called King Milo. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, our cat is uh, called Retard. <laughs> and we didn't know, but hey, we have a cat called Retard. Anyways. <sighs> YouTube thinks Kujo is talking smut. He's, he probably is, you know. Uh, he's, uh, I don't know if he's Irish or if he's Scottish. And I know that is really annoying for those you know, that, that <laughs> segment of people. It's like people t uh, telling me that I'm Swedish or Danish uh, when I am from Norge. Hey, Norge, hey, Norge, hey, Norge. But um, uh, <laughs> if I had to guess, uh, uh, totally sorry if I'm wrong, but I think he is from Sc Scotland. 
<laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but um, they're probably like the northern Norway. We are talking most of the time filthy things, so <laughs> it goes with the territories. Okay, let's say pharmacy. It's called pharmacy, and that's hey, it was a 50 50 toss. And <laughs> but um, it was something about the aura that the Kujo painting is uh, get getting uh, in his videos that told me that he's Scottish. <laughs> and I was right, hey, <laughs> for once. But uh, there you go. So yeah, we have a filthy Scottish boy in the house. We have uh, a, a lovely lady, Mickey Janmer, in the house. We have, uh, have, I have said all your names, but probably you like to say, you sound Icelandic to me. <laughs> well, hell, <laughs> the bratrum. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, try to put some paints on while we're talking bullshit here. Um, so yeah, Milo in Arabic. I, I think he is from Arabian states. And, you know, he has a, a, a big, um, uh, what you call it, education. So he, he uh, all the others at uh, the pharmacy from Russia and from Norway coming over to him and like, uh, eh, can you help me with this? So. He has a he is a big man in the pharmacy industry, but he is also Arabic and Milo means uh, retard, and that's really cool. <laughs> we just call our cat retard. And the funny thing is, uh, back in the day, like twenty years ago, me and my girlfriend, you know, we were hitting up, and. Um, Funny story short, uh, her tag name, her uh, like uh, online name, was also Miss Milo. <laughs> so, so there you have it. It should probably be me that was called that. Often, as she is a lovely lady, she's smart and she's intelligent. So, uh, but <laughs> then you have me. That's probably Mister uh, Milo. So there we go. Anyways, here we go with some blue on this 3D printed. So here 3D printed it. Uh, if you haven't seen 3D printed uh, miniatures, they have these uh, lines j j j all over the place. So here has sand, um, Prince uh, Zelda, uh, and you know, got over with uh, uh, grain 80 and stuff like that to really smooth off the lines. So he has put in a lot of work on this. So I'm actually going to try to be trying to paint it uh, as nice as I can, but um, <clears throat> yeah, we are going from that. Anyways, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, yes, Mickey says that I'm very pru uh, prudent and do doesn't uh, like smut. Uh, kind of wrong in a way, you know, it's depending, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it can be a little, it's okay, but you know, full on smut is also okay. But uh, we, 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 we're trying to have it civilized here on the chat. Okay. Okie dokie. So I'm actually sitting here waiting for Mario to appear. Did you watch uh, Wins Winterella's uh, birthday uh, video here the other day? He had us on uh, a, a, a good friend of him that was... Uh, he had... Mario stash and a Mario hat. Uh, it was from Australia. It was a really character. I really liked him. They were really fun uh, people. And Tom was there at the end, you know, crashing the party as he always do. You really had to like him. Tom. He's just really cool. And the other guys also. It was a good conversation about miniatures and the industry and stuff and things. And it was really nice. Anyways, let's go. The, do Princess Leia have blue eyes? Shit, I have to Google stuff. I can't remember. <clears throat> Milo meaning Arabic. Milo, you search Milo from zero results. Oh, so uh, I okay. So it's not Arabic. Okay, you know. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of racist of me assuming. It was an Arabic word, uh, but he he looks Arabian. It's no, it's not 
he's more Middle Eastern in his look than uh, from African countries. But I, you know, it's it, then it's you know, if it's not Arabic, it can be like a multitude of uh, languages, <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to guess. I was lucky uh, guessing uh, Scotland being the right thing, so. <clears throat> Um. <laughs> what? Painting boobies? I don't know. You, you. The chat is going crazy. I, I don't know what you are talking about. Uh. uh Rivendale Tactic here are asking: Are bust fun to paint? Uh, Kujo painting is sh chiming in and say, "Yeah, they are great. Totally different to me." Is. Uh, th th this is uh, it, what you can do with uh, when it's bigger piece. You can go in with uh, much more detail, but you can also uh, ease back on the details because it's bigger. Uh, a lot of the details are going to have natural shadows and stuff like that. So you can go uh, a lot of ways with it and have fun and just uh, it's an it's another it's another beast. It's uh, it, it's. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like painting uh, a really small acrylic painting and then go up to like a, a, a wall painting. Like it's, you have to have different mindsets. It's the same, but it's really a different thing. <clears throat> Rivendell Tactica uh, says that I have to have uh, less paints on my brush. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to take that advice, but yeah, <laughs> I probably should. But what I do, I have a damp brush and um, uh, I use, uh, I like to have these covers. So, uh, but you can do whatever. Maybe you should put on Arabic shadow color or, or start there with, uh, it's probably going to be, it's too, it's a little green in its colors. Maybe it's too harsh. But if I started with that and build up to really fair lady skin, on the uh, the the Zelda, I I I need to Google and have a, a a reference here. I can't remember. I played Super Mario games since I was a little uh, uh, Zelda. What the fuck? I mean, uh, of course, Peach. Fuck sake. <laughs> God damn. But you know, it's the same same. It's a princess in uh, in dire distress, and you have to save her. It would be cool if they put on a a, a game like that. But you know. Versa, you have to save the man, and you was the girl. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Princess Peach, of course. <laughs> A funny thing is, Princess Peach in Norwegian is Princess Peach, so I can't blame it on <laughs> in spinning lost in translation either. Okay, see, so she has uh, blue eyes, and she has. Um, it, the, the one in the middle there is a red rubin and she has quite fair skin. She has really like feminine skin and yeah, you should have your uh, <laughs> like uh, smut filled on when you are <laughs> searching for peach because uh, there are some peach stuff that you don't want to see. Or maybe you want to see you. I don't judge, but I, I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't, you know. Peach is, Peach is Peach. She is not uh, that kind of a girl. <laughs> Just for Mario. Anyways, let's see. <clears throat> ba -ba -bum. Uh. <laughs> Newbie is saying that he is doing. Housework, <laughs> and you know that was uh, something I didn't expect myself to say ever. But okay, and now I have it on this um, in my mind. <laughs> Queen, I want to break free, and newbie going around, you know, with the stash, <laughs> hoovering. I want to break free. Uh, <laughs> I certainly know the best are great to play with, newbie says. Okay. Uh, you know, old men, they are dirty. We just have to live with it. <laughs> Mickey says, uh, newbie is drawn in here by the busts. 
the the power of the bust you should never underestimate a good bust it will drive every man to the yard damn right bigger than yours what uh, let's see finding a brush looking at the brush putting water on the brush taking water off the brush putting some paint on the brush all right so let's see uh, do we have stuff in the yeah okay uh, bum -ba -bum. yeah Mickey Jenner is also like what the fuck newbie does host work so what I do not like about 3d printed stuff is especially in the face because that is a difficult place to get the 3D printer to go really good is that you have this really difficult areas of um, the the face is not uh, like really pronounced it's not uh, it's not really there so you are you are uh, essentially free handing your stuff and you know, I really like to have color in box. <laughs> I, I like to have everything nice and dandy, and and that's what you get with you if you are painting with uh, the. I'm just going to have some glows here and there. And that's what you get if you are just 3D printing yourself. But yeah. <laughs> okay, that is a mental uh, image. I don't know if I ever can delete from my uh, <laughs> head. God damn it. We are going for basic flesh, which are racist because, you know, not everybody has this flesh tone, but okay. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> David Muffat, I just turn into the dirty old man show. Yes, Nubi is hoovering around in his knickers and suspenders, <laughs> and uh, he he has uh, raked off his mustache. But you know, it is uh, totally the Queen's. I want to break free, rocking around the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh dear, uh, you know, if 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 you tune into this. Uh, live shows you are uh, in for a treat uh, or maybe you are in for mental hospitalization or something like that because you know uh, I, I let people just say stuff and I <laughs> I say what people saying in the chat it's entertainment for me what I am aiming at here is light entertainment and but we can talk about everything and try to to make some humor out of it so we have been talking about, you know, good old Trump and stuff like that too. And, you know, whatever. Whatever rocks your votes, babies. Ooh, I, that was the catchphrase I was supposed to start the show with. I was I was thinking about being a hip hipster and starting all the YouTube shows with um, Hello Babes. That would be really good. Everybody loves to be called a babe, especially if you're a male. Like 98% uh, uh, oh, almost 100% of my viewer base are male, so you know, <laughs> one male calling other males uh, babes, that should be really good. That should bring up the views. <laughs> it's be really hipster-like. I don't want views. I don't do this for money. And yeah, truthfully, I can say I do not do it for money. I don't earn anything on my YouTube, so that's cool. I actually want to, you know, uh, I want to pimp out my, uh, want to sell, you know, whatever, uh, be an influencer, that would be really cool. Buy this product, I really like it, because I got it from free. <laughs> and get a lot of money, ah, that would be lovely. That would be the sick dream, living the dream on the stream. But uh, <laughs> I actually, I don't think that ever going to happen. Uh, uh, but... Somehow this uh, topic is co coming in every episode, so 
people are sadomasochistic. masochistic I want to listen to me drag on about it <laughs> oh there is a there is a little leftover from the print there I should try to go in with the knife or something and cut it out of there um, I will see I just wanted to paint something different from the stream now and busts are not my usual cup of tea. Saying that I actually just now uh, turned over my uh, the bust from uh, Relic to my friend and uh, he, he liked them and he actually posted the fi finished uh, stuff on my Facebook page so if you want to see what I have painted last month uh, you can go there. I was planning to do a, like a show reel and showing off, uh, ba -ba making a video of uh, look at me, I can paint stuff. But uh, <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> bothered. Uh, but it's kind of fun, it's kind of fun to make, when you are finished with a, with a project, to make a video of it, uh, trying to make it look as good as you can, have some music on it and, a <laughs> <laughs> and show it off and uh, get three likes and five views, that's cool too. Uh, but you know, it's an achievement unlocked the, for the na narcissistic me. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Hello, babe. Hello, Dace babe. Hello, Mickey babe. <laughs> uh, are you going to uh, point the hair with mu multiple lines? Yeah, I might. Um, I have missed a hair spot hair when I was airbrushing. And I'm probably going to go in and trying to do some good stuff with it. Playing with the hair. Ladies love to when it, you play with the hair everywhere. Ooh. But, um. <laughs> what? I don't know. But. <laughs> that was a cool idea. This is uh, good to get input. Try something you never tried before. Hey, that's what I like. I like it a little dicey. So I'm going in with that and I'm going to try to do hairlines. I've never done that before, so that could be something new to try out. All right, looking sexy, Princess Peach. Uh, it's uh, cool though, Peach meaning you have this emoji, Peaching means a nice ass. Uh, but you never see a nice ass on Princess Peach. But pro she has probably the best sexy bum in the world being called Princess Peach, come on. She have to have the rock solid ass. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Don't call me babe, I will break your legs. Mickey says, okay babe, sure, sure thing babe. <laughs> um, Dave Dodge, you just have to become a Games Workshop fanboy and up the throne on the show. I am a games work uh, work workshop workhouse work whole uh, show um, fanboy, um, you know. But it's kind of like I am in an abusive relationship with them. I buy stuff from them all the time, but uh, it's not always I putting th their stuff on my channel because, <laughs> truth be told, then I feel like um, uh, pimping out, selling out my ass. <laughs> But uh, I, I guess Workshop, I really like it. You know, Warcry was a thing. Uh, it didn't draw in that uh, kind of a crowd. You maybe should expect it to draw. But then again, you know, <laughs> you, you, you don't want to look at uh, my stuff for any kind of <laughs> relevance. So I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have, if you can't tell, I have stopped caring uh, about uh, drawing in the numbers in that way. Um, um, because you have to be, you have to be like a laser. You have to be so specific. You have to be like, I like um, the hot new thing, the sisters. I want just paint the sisters all the time. Yeah, did I did I? And of course, um, I, <laughs> from 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 uh, like in the nineties and stuff like that. I really like the sisters because they have the fleur de lis like my Bretonians and I like Bretonians so I would really want to have more Bretonians in uh, Warhammer 40k too but 
since then we have been my gaming group are more into mantic games board games and dungeon dragon pathfinder so they uh, and they have abundant uh, when uh, games workshop was uh, end times uh, the fantasy world um, you know they they flip the table and fuck this shit and they have never really come back i have one friend that is playing a lot of games with me uh, like Malifaux and uh, whatever, uh, like Warcry and stuff like that. But uh, all the other guys d do not touch anything that is close to something Games Workshop. So yeah, that is that, that is how the cookie crumbles. And yeah, because they don't want to be in abusive relationship <laughs> with their hobby. <clears throat> but. Doobie, Warcry is great. Yeah, I think so too. It's really cool. Uh, really nice, simple rules. I played in my, with my nine-year-old and uh, uh, I really like the generator. You have a uh, um, terrain generator, you have a uh, layout generator for your army and stuff like that. It's really nice and really... It's uh, really... Um, what's the term? It's really like lining you up it's like giving you a path that you have to follow very specific and don't give you too much wiggle room but uh, the wiggle room it gives you is really wiggle wiggle you can uh, uh, kick stuff out of uh, you know um, from, from top of places and stuff like that it's really cool and fun uh, but yeah So, all right. All right. Oh shit, that was <clears throat> off center as fuck. Then we have to go in with white again and save it, but that's okay. Hey, it's like me. You have to do happy mistakes. It can uh, lend to uh, good stuff. <laughs> Dad told me once he was drunk that, uh, you know, son, you was a mistake, but I love you the same. So don't be afraid to do mistakes. It uh, it can make you dicey stuff. All right, she's <laughs> uh, she is like a Milo. She's looking retard right now, but we should um, try to. Maybe that's not a politically correct thing to say. So I'm sorry for that. You know, if you are a retard like me, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, we have drawn bad cards, but you have to try to play with them. Nonetheless. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's Bazooka? I don't know. I'm at the dice place all the time. So it seems. What? What? They don't play game, uh, games workshop uh, games because it's too expensive? No, it's more like they are... Um, uh, my friends are more like uh, a really butthurt. Uh, I'm pa paraphrasing, but you know, it feels really bad when you have played um, uh, games for over 15 years and suddenly they say, yeah, fuck this shit, we hate this game, we are going to blow it up. And then they uh, come up with a new game, uh, Age of Sigmar, uh, which didn't uh, hit the spot. Uh, Kings of War come in and, um, but you know, they were so heartbroken from this because they really liked uh, uh, playing 8th edition and they're just looking forward to a good ninth edition and then yeah no we are just going to blow off the whole world for you guys and and uh, yeah they didn't want anything uh, with that 
So here we are. The miniatures from Games Workshop are really good, and I, I wish uh, Games Workshop uh, did talk uh, and prepare people more with the end games that they did. They really dropped the ball on it, in my opinion, with the way they did it. They should uh, have given you the. You should be in the loop when they are doing stuff like that, so you can trying to re react to it. But they probably was too afraid about um, all the people, you know, the scavenger around the Games Workshop that was making miniatures and stuff like that to take their ID before they had uh, had to rule, get the thing on the wheels, I don't know. But, you know, uh, I think Age of Sigmar now is a, in a real good place and I really like uh, round bases because you have miniatures, you can post them in a more cool uh, like they more hero pos uh, like poses and stuff like that a uh, rank and file you have to like be like so and um, uh, but but at the same time I really like rank and file so it's <laughs> I, I like both you know I'm bisexual when it comes to uh, miniature games and stuff like that I, I don't care too much about this and that uh, I, I can like it both ways no it's no big deal but um I suppose it's too much of an ask, so I don't bother. You have to in your in your play, play in your play group in your you know group of friends that are playing games. You need to have uh, a. a dr driving force that are really in giving everybody else something to rally around and uh, g where i live we are invading each other's living rooms and stuff like that we are not going to to uh, a club to play so it's really personal you know i'm inviting people into my family home uh, where i have my kids and and girlfriend and they are inviting me into their homes you know and so it's really personal, so you have to, it's m much more personal than you can say, hey, let's play a game on a, on a club, you take your Games Workshop products, your Mantic products, whatever, and go in there and play. It's not like that. I don't, it's, um, as I understand it, uh, in UK, uh, you have uh, clubs, uh, and you know, in big cities in Norway, you have clubs and stuff like that but um, so it's it's something I w want to have but I totally understand why, why it can't be it it's not a uh, place persons can make monies from uh, having open and stuff like that I don't know but uh, what somebody is oversharing and it's not me the chat says it's incredible but <laughs> let's see uh, have I Let's see what the chat is going on here. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, newbies talking about a different kind of Warcry. Do not uh, go on Warcry.com. <laughs> it is not. Uh, it's it's not the thing that you want to see, especially around kids or at work. And you know, depending on your girlfriend, if you want to show her, <laughs> but. <laughs> It's a porn site, <laughs> but uh, let's see. Newbie dice. MG is typing in the Facebook chat. She's sh cheating and not p paying attention. Ah, that's okay. I'm not paying attention either, so that's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> and Mickey Jenner is uh, calling newbie out there. He, she's uh, saying that newbie is watching a lot of Warcry, and we all know what type of Warcry <laughs> newbie is watching. <laughs> uh, Bazooka says, "Don't mention Wiggle Room." <laughs> when when <laughs> newbies are out, oh shit. <laughs> uh, Age of Sigma isn't that bad, it's just the old world's fluff we miss. Yeah, the game uh, did get very overblown at some points. Yeah, yeah, at some point, uh, it was um, the rules were really, it had to happen. It was on the place, you know, the magic was all whack and stuff like that, but it's, the fluff was really good. Um, and the feeling was so good. 
Uh, and I think Age of Sigmar is much more uh, a grim, dark uh, uh, past. Uh, I don't know. Old Hammer is coming out, so we, we will see what comes out then. I, I really like uh, Kings of War. I'm trying to uh, start uh, learning about the Kings of War and the fluff. and I really like what I'm reading, where the elves are a new species that is trying to get into the world and stuff like that and stuff like that uh oh uh bazooka has the old copy of warhammer 8th uh, edition rule the big book <laughs> i have three copies of the leaflet book of uh 8th, uh, 8th edition uh three uh, two of them are just pages that are falling apart and the third one i have to tread uh I had to bin together myself so it didn't fall apart. This were really bad <laughs> booklet. Uh, so, but yeah. We only used to play in each other's houses back in the day. Yeah, it's the best way. Yeah, it is. But um, <laughs> you. <sighs> How to say it? Y you are really dependent on the the person you are playing wanted to play the game that you are playing when you are going to a, a, a like a, a gaming store a club something like that you can just show off with your stuff and play the games i don't know maybe it's a fairy tale maybe i'm just imagining it maybe it's not like that at all maybe it's just the same <laughs> Uh, as a um, Play It Painted uh, uh, podcast, Adam uh, was talking about his living in uh, China and then, then he, ha he has to play a Kill Team and stuff like that uh, because th that is the only thing they are playing there in China where he lives and so it's, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's really depending on where you are and what people are around you and um, it's really depending on the people you are playing with. If the game are enjoyable or really tiresome. Some are really, really fun to, to rule, be a rule master and can all the rules. And some are in it just to toss some dice. That's me. <laughs> and uh, show off uh, painted miniatures. That's me. Um, and, and some really like to have cool tactica and like having a like chess games uh, and some some guys just like to blow shit up that's me <laughs> so i don't know why i play uh, like stuff like um bretonians and stuff like that in the past i should be playing goblins all the time but you know i, ha I haven't have had one goblin orc and goblin team in any settings so but that's probably my play style but anyway <laughs> Newbie got moderated too. Shit, I'm really sorry, Mickey, for uh, anointing you to be the sheriff, sheriff of the chat. But I'm really grateful that you are, uh, you know, showing off your guns. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Newbie, a lot of people moaned over the coming of Age of Sigma, but everything changes. 40k changes from the first to second edition vibe to the complete change of become third edition. Yeah. I, I have seen people talking with watery eyes and big smiles about second edition of, um, of uh, Warhammer 40k. And the same for fantasy. It's really peculiar. Also War Machine and Hordes second edition and also Kings of War second edition. People are really it just um, it's something about a second edition and the third edition is really scary it's when stuff changes up like in war uh, war machine and hordes stuff changes too much i think it it, it it something was not the same um i'm really i'm really looking i'm, I'm like Thinking about what what is going on to with um, Malifaux? Is it good? Is it bad? It's the same with the Guildbold third edition. 
the, the curse of third edition is a thing in board games, uh, miniature games. Maybe. It's a thesis I have out there. I'm just saying it out. But maybe third edition D&D was good. I don't know. But you know, her, her people be really happy and with good manners when they are talking about a second edition of a game system. So what's that about? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, due to when they was starting playing the game. But then again, uh, one point fine Malifaux was good and a lot of guys and girls was dropping Malifaux when it uh, get to second edition. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not the curse of the uh, third edition. It's when it changed things too much from edition to edition. But then again, you want to have a, a game that is vibrant and lively and changing from time to time so people can. But then again, some games are really good and you should stick to just the one rule. Like, I, I, like uh, example, chess. With clear defined rules and clear defined ways to play, and still it's uh, really deep. But then you don't make the monies, and miniature companies do like to make monies. And to do that, you have to change the rules when new miniatures comes out, so they are must buys. I really like that Games Workshop. Uh, in some ways, are making miniatures that are not super good, better always, then you have to buy them because they are better. Uh, be, uh, you know, all the game systems too romantic to... Get, uh, there are pieces that are looking awesome but are not the best pieces in the game. But you know, they are tools and you can use them to your advantage if you just unlock how they are played. That's really interesting. It intrigues me and you know, maybe that's what's triggering the wallet to open. I don't know. Yeah, it's not half bad. It's not looking like ass. I'm going to make sure uh, the paint are now going to uh, rest uh, and make it uh, maybe tomorrow, paint some more on it. Trying to do hair lines. Uh, maybe I have to Look on some YouTube videos how to do that. Kujo painting, for example. He has good tutorials on a lot of stuff. Probably, maybe he has something for how to paint here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, it is closing in on one hour. So you know it's time to get going. Uh, and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow uh, for painting. Uh, maybe I'll go to to just paint um, the orcs uh, to be finished, so we can so we can play with them. Uh, it's a uh, my my war band of orcs. There uh, is for uh, one guard, and my think uh, what 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 my what my master plan is there is to that's a borrow team, so people can say yeah, I want to try this game, and I can just borrow those. And um, as I understand them from what I'm reading uh, online and seeing videos on YouTube, uh, orcs are a good, uh, just a good, uh, good fun team, you know, run forward, smash stuff, win the game <laughs> or go home. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's kind of perfect to learn the game, J just learning how to maneuver and try to sneak your way in. Uh, sneaky elves is going to be their biggest problem because of how they shoot with their bows and how they are using spells and stuff like that. And they have the prince that they are a um, super killer. Uh, but two, three games in, I think an uh, orc player would uh, understand how to play against uh, uh, how, how to play against a uh, elf team as well. Anyways. Ba -ba -bum. 
David Dodge is saying, uh, do not lend out your minis. You will never see your friends again. Yeah, you, I, I will. They, they are just good uh, people. Uh, we are all in our 30s and 40s, so we are, you know, <laughs> we don't have to steal shit. And I can, if they put some money on the table, I'm probably going to take it and they can buy them from me. It's okay too. So anyways, uh, Mickey Jenner is a nun. Uh, talk about nuns, Mickey, are you getting any Sister of Battle or are you too busy? Dave Dutch asking. Kujo is the king of glazes, I think. Yeah, he is really good at glazing. He's the glazing of the cake. <laughs> you have to put the radio transmitters on two HB pencils around where you lend them out to track them. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> I persuaded my sister to come and saw my adventures, but we are not going to battle. <laughs> that was kind of funny, Mickey Jumbler. I, I like the, the, the humor. The, uh, there's a guy, I'm sure you were one of those guys from the movie The Thing. Yeah, that's probably sure. Sure, sure thing. <laughs> there was a, a Axel Henning. He's from Norway. And there were some guys from... Um, Denmark, I think, and some from Island, so it's the same, same. We are all the same. <laughs> the dudes in the helicopter chasing that dog down. Maybe. I haven't seen that movie. I have I have read the novel. I have seen the old thing, but I haven't seen the new, new thing from 2000 something. I can't remember. Um, but I should probably like that. I really like uh, like the story that uh, the th movies are based on. So, um, I, I, <laughs> I really like um, uh, H.P. Lovecraft and stuff like that. Um, um, so, anyways, Leski Urpu Appida or Krisa, hello. Uh, we are going now. <laughs> uh, it's almost time to me to say fuck off. So, you know, <laughs> there is the sign. There's a 2006 version, which are a prequel. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it ain't bad. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I should probably see it. <laughs> there are a lot of movies uh, and stuff. I, I am right now seeing the Swamp Thing, uh, a DC comic. Uh, TV series um, and I am on just uh, episode 2 season 1 and it feels like the odd, like the um, the people uh, they, they are just they feels like they're just reading from manuscripts there's like oh there he died I'm so sad. <laughs> like that, with no emotions. It's really strange. H.P. Lovecraft was a racist. Yeah, he uh, he had some really bad stuff, especially when he was uh, living in New York and seeing all these people. And he was dealing a lot with that. I, I think it is due to his dad was ill with syphilis and seeing stuff and he was, the dad was probably uh, getting horse that was you know of uh, another color than himself and uh, but uh, I don't know it's speculations but uh, but in that time in uh, the uh, late 1800s and it was uh, it was really normal to be racist you was nationalistic, you was um, uh, your country first, uh, and you know, it's uh, anti semitism and you know, hey, blame it on the Jews, blame it on people looking different from you. And you know, that didn't uh, make anything bad happen, you know, later with war, World War One and Two. <laughs> and it's uh, it's insane that um, 
Putin can make a whole Western civilization be racist again. I, I don't understand it. We should learn to be not that man manipulated by a former K KGB agent, but here we are. I don't know. I don't know nothing, but it feels so wrong that the world is where it is right now. Every land for itself. When we are all alone, you know, it's like the horror movies. It, when the, the when, when the group is splitting, then it's when the messed up, fucked up shit is happening. Uh, we should uh, stick together <laughs> against the boogeymans, but I don't know. It's a crazy world right now. I just hope uh, not everything is going to hit the fan. Uh, the mist is uh, really bad. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it. It's not racist to be proud of your nation and what it's done. No, it's not. Uh, but, you know, um, the UK haven't, uh, you know, uh, so many nations and religions fight for her queen under World War II. Uh, it was Sikhs, it was Muslims, it was, you name it. And they fight for believing, you know, in, in this thing of the free world and stuff like that. It's so bizarre to me that... Uh, you have Brexit, you have stuff like that now happening. I don't know. It's a big topic and I, I, I feel like I need to have six hours just scratching the surface uh, to d discuss stuff like that. And uh, we are not going to solve ev anything, but <laughs> uh, what happened to being a decent human being and trying to help people? I don't know. It's, uh, it's okay to be proud of your land. I'm proud of Norway. I'm proud of a lot of things Norway do, but um, at the same time, I'm not saying that we are the best land in the world. Uh, there are a lot of wrongdoings in Norway too. You, you, you will have bad people in any society. You will have people that are trying to, to manipulate and... Uh, you will have bad seeds in any society, in any settings. So don't be manipulated by it's just uh, one color, it's one religion, it's one. It's nothing like that. It's bad people and bad people, they should be handled in another way than the rest. You, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, take the blame for, you know, one act of one person shouldn't go for everybody that looks like that. I don't know. You see, it's all Mickey Janvers and newbies fault to vote for Brexit party. Maybe. <laughs> Newbie can't wait, uh, wait to, to get, get out of uh, EU. Yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> Bad seeds. You are talking about me. I don't know. I I think um, what I know about you, the two three year, months we have been talking a little together over the internet. I've I have a, I have not a good uh, sense of you being bad. <laughs> But, you know, I can be wrong. You, people can lie on the internet for all types of reasons. For all I know, everybody in the chat here is super bad people. I don't know. I just hope people are okay and fair. And, yeah. I will be all okay days ago when I'm God Emperor of Earth and you will receive privileges. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> that that on, on that note, I think we are finished. We are three minutes over one hour. So I'm going to leave you on that bombshell. Dev Dodge is running for Emperor of Earth. Alright? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>